this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a map file in ArcGIS Pro, and then we'll show you how to load that map file into a new project in ArcGIS Pro. So map files are new to ArcGIS Pro. Uh, we've had layer files for a long time, uh, both in ArcGIS Pro as well as ArcMap, but map files are new, and they're sort of a logical extension of a layer file. Basically, a map file is going to take all the layers that you have in a specific map, and it's going to export out that layer information for the map into a map file. So for each layer that you have in a map, it's going to extract certain information, uh, including the location of the data set being referenced by the layer, the symbology that you've, been, that you've applied to each of the layers, and all of the layer properties associated with every layer. And so it's going to bundle all that information up and put it into a map file. Now, just, with, just like with layer files, a map file doesn't contain any actual data. It simply contains references to the data sets that are loaded in the map. So whatever feature classes or shape files are being referenced by your layers, that's the information that's being written to these map files, not data. Right? There's no actual data being loaded into uh, your map files, right? just like with layer files. All right. <clears throat> so uh, here you can see that we have a map here of the city of New Rothfels in Texas. We've got a number of different layers. And uh, the idea here is that we're wanting to create a map file that contains all of this information so that we can then provide a consistent load of this map into other projects that we may be working on. So to create a map file, it's a pretty simple process. Um, you're just gonna go to the Share tab. On the Share tab under the Save As group, there's a map file button. Uh, and so you're gonna click on that button. And then it's just gonna simply prompt you uh, for a location where you want to put the map file. And in this case, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop and uh, we'll call it City of New Braunfels and it's gonna be a map X file, it's gonna be the output. And I'll hit save. And then what it's gonna do at this point is export a map file. And if I look on my desktop at this point, I should have a new map file somewhere here. So there's my, file, my map file called city of new Rumfles .map X. That's the new map file. So, uh, and again, you can see it's a pretty small file. It's only 207, Kilobytes, so not a very large file, um, and that's because there's no data here. It's just containing references to the data sets that are in that map. Now, the idea with map files, just like with layer files, is that you're you're wanting to provide a consistent display of information of content, and uh, they're often used for sharing as well. So, you know, sharing with other people in an organization is typically the way that uh, those files are used. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and create a, a new project and show you how to import a map file into that project. So I'm going to go to the project tab, select new, and we'll just select map template. I'm just going to accept the defaults here. It doesn't really matter. We're just, it doesn't really matter what the name of my project is. So we'll just accept the defaults here just to kind of illustrate how to import um, a uh, map file into your projects. Just a second here. So it's going to create my new project. <clears throat> Automatically loads a map. I don't really need that map, but uh, we'll just leave it up for the moment. And so from here on the insert tab, you'll see that I have an import map button. And if I click on that import map button, now what I'm looking for is that map file. And I, I've actually exported this file in a number of different locations. Um, so I'm looking for on my desktop, the file that I just created, which is called city of new Braunfels.mapx. So that's the map file that I just created. I simply click on OK. And at that point, then it's going to create that city of New Braunfels map. And you can see it's loaded the exact same layers into that map. They're symbolized the same way. Uh, all the properties that have been defined for those layers have been included as well. So you'll see the same symbology, same layer names, and any of the pro other properties that have been defined for that layer. So this is a really good way of being able to <coughs> uh, standardize the maps that you're creating and make sure that it's consistent between uh, from one project to the next. And they're also used often for sharing as well. So if you've got multiple people in your organization who may need to use this map, um, you know, rather than relying on everybody to create their own map that looks the same, you can just share a map file and it makes it very easy to provide a consistent look and feel for the maps. All right, that's it for now. Appreciate you joining me and we'll see you next time.